With home ownership comes a lot of responsibilities and jobs that you just can't do yourself. I'm talking to you guys out there right now because you know when you have something that deals with electricity, you go, nope, I can't do it. Well, today I'm with John Dean of Dean Electrical and AC. And I got to tell you one thing, when it comes to electricity, I ain't jacking around with that. Well, I didn't finish college, so I had to learn something. So I do electrical, and I also do HVAC, which is air conditioning. We do service, installation, repair, commercial, industrial, residential. We do it all. Do it all. Okay, the number one reason why someone calls you in terms of electrical work is what? Because the wife is tired of waiting for her husband to fix it. And nowadays, it's, things are a little more difficult, more challenging. The industry has created a lot of items that are complicated to fix, and the codes are very stringent. And we follow the codes, and we, we repair things the right way. And when we repair something, it's going to be right. Well, it's scary to work with. I'm, being, I'm just being honest with you. I'm not touching certain wires. I don't want to burn the house down. I mean, me, me neither. I don't want to touch those wires. I go to the breaker and I turn it off. That's probably the first thing you do is go to the breaker, right? It's the easiest thing. And people worry about like, oh, I don't know how to fix this light bulb. It's stuck. Well, turn the switch off. <laughs> because remember how when you turn the switch off, the light goes off? Yes. That means there's no electricity to it. So go. sometimes it's simple things that you realize, oh, what am I worried about? Then you don't have to worry about turning off breakers. Of course, if you have any doubts, just always turn the circuit breaker off. That's, that's the very minimal you can do there. Okay, uh, it's hot outside. Central Texas is heating up. It's, I think we have 103, 104 uh, the last couple of days. We're in the 90s. We're making our way through summer. Uh, how do we know if our unit is under stress or that it could be going out? Well, the first sign is you bought a cheap air conditioner, okay. which I'll never understand because they make a lot of cheap brands of air conditioning. And if you want a good air conditioner, first buy one that's manufactured in America. I'm not going to say names because I'm not here for that. Uh, but the main things that you'll notice, we have this thing, you're going to love this. This is a simple thing every homeowner can do. We call it the beer can check. So you have two copper pipes coming from the inside air handler that go under a chase or through the attic and they go down, they go to the outside condenser. The big copper tubing that has the black insulation on it, pull it a little way and put your hand on it while it's running. And make sure it's been running a little bit. It should be cold and sweaty. If you don't, if it feels like room temperature or the temperature of where you're at, either the compressor's not running, you're low on refrigerant, but something's not working. And now you know you have a problem. But that's the first thing you do. Now, if you remember the fan on the outside at the condenser, a condenser has two motors, a compressor and a fan. Now, if people call me saying, my fan's not turning, well, be a little more specific. Uh, so here's the deal. If the fan, the, when it's working right, you'll feel heat coming out of the condenser. So basically, it's a refrigerant circuit. And when it comes to an air filter in your house, I'm guilty of it. I will typically buy the cheapest air filter in that size on, on sale. That's kind of how I roll. I have a better idea. I don't think you want to do that. Yeah. Because those ones that you can see through, if you can see through it, that means dust will go right through it. Especially German Shepherd dog hair. It's like needles. It goes straight up and clogs a coil up. If the coil's stopped up, it's got to be clean. So prevent it simply by buying those good pleated filters. So if you see dust on your ceiling fans, is that, is that a sign that there's too much dust? Well, you're always going to have dust. It means you've been running your ceiling fan a lot. But if you have good pleated filters, you're going to catch more of the dust. You got an electrical issue, call these guys. You got an AC issue, call. I couldn't imagine sitting home with bad AC. I'm just telling you. I couldn't imagine doing that. All right, go see my buddy John Dean here. Uh, we'll have more. I'm going to see if I can play around with some electrical stuff in here, see if I can oh, get I electrocuted. Yeah, there you go. We'll be right back.